Okay, let us go for the next one that is 51. Consider the family of all circles whose centers lie on the straight line y equals x. If the family of circles is represented by the differential equation p into second derivative of y plus q into dy by dx plus 1 equals 0, where p and q are the functions of x, y and dy by dx, then which of the following statements is or are correct? I have to find p and q from this equation. So, let us start it by considering equation of circle whose center is lying on the line y equals x. Let the family of circles be x square plus y square plus 2 g x plus 2 g y plus c equals 0 because center is on the line y equals x, right. Differentiating this equation, we have 2 x plus 2 y into dy by dx plus 2 g plus 2 g dy by dx equals 0. Differentiating again, we get 1 plus y into second derivative of y plus y dash square plus g into y double dash is equal to 0. From here, I observe g plus y as the coefficient for second derivative of y and the two terms 1 plus y dash square. Now, I need g plus y which can be obtained from here that is g is minus of x plus y y dash divided by 1 plus y dash. Now, if I add this g to y, then I will be getting this plus y over here, which gives me minus x plus y divided by 1 plus dy by dx. Now, substitute this value of g plus y in this equation 1. Therefore, we have minus x plus y into second derivative of y plus 1 plus y dash plus y dash square plus y dash cube is equal to 0, which can be rearranged as y minus x into second derivative of y plus the coefficient for y dash we can see 1 plus y dash plus y dash square and the last term is 1. We can compare it with given equation p into second derivative of y plus q into derivative of y plus 1 equals 0. From there we have p equals y minus x, q equals 1 plus y dash plus y dash square. So, option a is not correct while b is correct, p equals y minus x. Now, look for option c and d. We need p plus q on adding the two, we get 1 plus y minus x plus y dash plus y dash square, 1 plus y minus x plus y dash plus y dash square. So, c is also correct. d, p minus q we definitely include a term 1 which is not there. So, d is not correct. So, option c is correct and option b is correct, right. Let us move to the next one, ok. Let us take the next question that is 52. Let g from r to r be a differentiable function with g 0 equal 0, g dash 0 equal 0 and g dash 1 not equal to 0. Let f x equals x upon mod x into g x whenever x is non 0 and 0 whenever x is 0 and h x equals e to the power mod x for all real values of x. Now, let f of h x that means f of h x simply similarly for f h of f x which of the following four options is correct? The options are about differentiability of f, h, f of h and h of f. So, let us talk about the first part that is differentiability of f at x equals 0. Function f x is given x upon mod x into g x when x is non 0 and 0 when x is 0. So, let us redefine this function as 
माइनस जी एक्स वेन एक्स इज नेगेटिव जीरो एट जीरो एंड जी एक्स वेन एक्स इज पॉजिटिव इफ आई टेक लेफ्ट हैंड डेरीवेटिव एंड राइट हैंड डेरीवेटिव आई कैन राइट एफ डैश जीरो माइनस दैट इज लेफ्ट हैंड डेरीवेटिव इट विल बी माइनस जी डैश जीरो विच इज जीरो सिमिलरली वेन वी अप्रोच टू वर्ड्स जीरो फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव साइड इट इज जी डैश जीरो ऑल्सो जीरो हेंस वी कैन क्लियरली सी दैट एफ इज डिफ्रेंशियबल एट एक्स इक्वल्स जीरो सो वी सिंपली चेक आउट लेफ्ट एंड राइट डेरीवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो सेकेंड पार्ट एच इज डिफ्रेंशियबल एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो लेट्स चेक आउट द सेकेंड वन फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट एच ई रेज टू द पावर मॉड एक्स वी कैन ट्रेस इट वी नो द ग्राफ ऑफ ई टू द पावर एक्स गोज लाइक दिस सिंस इन स्टीड ऑफ एक्स वी हैव द टर्म मॉड एक्स सो इट विल बी एक्चुअली द मिरर इमेज लाइक दिस सो वी फाइंड अ शार्प पॉइंट ओवर हेयर एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो सो क्लियरली नॉन डिफ्रेंशियबल एट दिस पॉइंट सो फंक्शन इज नॉट डिफ्रेंशियबल एट द पॉइंट एक्स इक्वल जीरो सो ऑप्शन टू इज नॉट करेक्ट राइट मूव टू द थर्ड ऑप्शन दैट इज एफ ऑफ एच एक्स डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एच एक्स फंक्शन एच एक्स इज ई टू द पावर मॉड एक्स विच इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो मीन्स इट विल नॉट बी इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वेन वी पुट ई टू द पावर मॉड एक्स हेयर we can clearly see e to the power mod x means greater than 0 so mod term will give me simply positive 1 so we have f of hx term equals e to the power mod x upon e to the power mod x with modulus sign into g of e to the power mod x so this will be the only thing with us right because we simply know x is greater than 0 x means e to the power mod x this term will be greater than 0 correct so we have simply the derivative term when we look at its derivative that is this one this becomes one simply this becomes one so it is simply g dash e to the power x into e to the power x when x is positive and g dash e to the power minus x into minus e to the power minus x when x is negative when i say x is approaching to 0 we have g dash 1 which is non zero quantity so this is some positive number while the other one is some negative number so we clearly observe that derivative of f of hx comes out it is not existing so derivative of this term does not exist move to the d option that is h of fx h of fx that is we substitute fx here that is we substitute this term here right so when x is 0 it is simply e to the power 0 means 1 when x is non zero we substitute this term in the power that is x upon mod x g of x right so we can write this thing as h of fx is equal to e raised to the power mod of gx when x is non zero and 1 when x is zero because x upon mod x simply get cancelled out because modulus is there after that so when we take the derivative of this term from left and right what we observe here we observe that we can check it here derivative this comes out as e raised to the power modulus of gx into plus minus g dash x when x is 0 we find g dash 0 term which makes it 0 means this is correct 
So, in this manner we observe that option D is correct because G dash 0 whenever we are moving from left or right this is simply 0 given to me in the question hence this option is correct function is differentiable at x equals 0. So, in this manner we can analyze the 4 parts of this question let us move to the next one.